Howdy, YouTube, and welcome in to an another Let's Play for Civilization. We are the proud nation of Georgia, uh, demonstrating some southern comfort today. Uh, and that's where my accent will end, uh, and we will start with some gameplay. This is our opening uh, for tomorrow, um, and it's really good. It's really good. We have lots of choppable tiles. We have lots of productive tiles. We have some farmland over here. Um, we hopefully have a river that keeps going for settleable spots. Um, you can settle on the cattle for extra food and start with a gem tile. Uh, we're going to be pretty happy about all of those things. Um, Kyle, I, Kyle says, I can finally beat Immortal and sometimes get going into Deity, but I have an awful habit of trying to have it all and not streamlining your progress. Uh, do, you, do you ever have to overcome this? Yeah, you do. Um, I was that way in Civ Five, where I just wanted all the things all the time. Um, and that's why I didn't play Deity in Civ Five. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to get over that if you want to play Deity. Hi, Sig. How you doing, bud? Yeah, so we're going to move here. Uh, nothing nothing that we're seeing here really changes our perspective. Um, we're going to settle in place, get a 3-1 base. Wow, and a second gem tile like that. How about it? Pretty pretty darn good. Worst case scenario, we could throw a, uh, a holy site over, here, over there for plus one for being next to two woods. Uh, and then a commercial hub there for a plus three commercial hub. Um, ideally, there's a spot for a holy site there, but I'm not going to I'm not going to hold hold out for it. The real question is, which way do we go with our warrior? I'm always a fan of doing double moves on the warrior versus crossing the river will eat all of our movement um, and you cannot end your movement on a hill like this. So we'd be either dead ended here or dead ended here. Um, and I don't like that. I, I probably want to go this way, although I'm very curious to see exactly what kind of tiles are over there to figure it out. Um, but 3-1 base, so we'll grow a little bit quicker, and we have good tiles to grow into. 2-2-3 two, two, is really, really nice. So we've got gold, food, and um, production. Uh, and let's begin with a scout, per usual. Campus to this, yes. Plus two campus just, just south, of, uh, south of this, because two rainforest tiles that will stay throughout the game. Um, so that, that we can just kind of earmark as our campus for later on. Hey, cross six, nice. Welcome in, welcome in, you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, we gotta go. We gotta go right for astrology. Getting a religion on deity is very, very difficult, and that is basically our win condition. So we have to secure that as soon as we can here. Important to use your settler lens while scouting. Continent lens as well. We're looking for a second continent so that we know which way we want to settle. You have a glass of homemade wine. Ooh. That sounds fancy. Wow. Okay. If people can just leave us alone for a little bit and I can settle a few cities, I'll feel pretty good about this game. Because that's another perfectly lovely city. Tons of production. Continent. Settler. Okay, so somebody is here. The fact... Oh, and it's, it's Gilgamesh, I think. So ah, that's that's it's a bit of a pain, um, but he is a very easy ally. If I build a campus, will it be the University of Georgia or Georgia Tech? Oh, man, we'll try to do both. We'll try to do both. What up, Two Swole? Why not go for Stonehenge? Good question. Um, so Danny asked, why not go for Stonehenge? Um, that give, that is one of your recourses. Oh, that's his capital too, like straight up right there. Um, all right, so let's 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 do this first. Gilgamesh, you want a friend right away. He will. He's one of the few that will accept your your friendship on turn one, um, and you definitely want to friend him up right away, or you will die. You will absolutely die. Um, that's true. We should we should. Uh, what is it? Is this just Atlanta? There we go. That's better. Um, yes, he is our swole mate. Now, the issue is he's still pr likely in inclined to take that settle from us. Um, and that, that is a settle that I really want. There's tons of production there. Um, loyalty issues down there. Probably just from this. Although he might have a second city down here already, which is a big, big problem. Um, but the question is, why why not go for Stonehenge? Okay, so Stonehenge typically will go between turns 20 and 25. Um, so we have 16 more turns to get there. 
So even if we get there at turn 21, um, we, we have to place it next to the stone. So we're probably buying a tile, putting it over here. Um, and then waiting for it to build. It, it, it requires 180 production. And we have 5.3 per turn. So we wouldn't really be able to build Stonehenge to maybe turn 40 or 50, just like Artemis. Um, now, you, you look at the stone. Well, why not harvest the stone? That'll, that'll make it fast. Well, I have to get mining. And then I have to get masonry in order to remove it. Mining lets us put quarries down. Masonry lets us remove it. So it's really not a realistic thing unless you're playing China. <laughs> What's up, Deaver? How you doing, bud? If he, if he settles near me, ask him to stop doing it. AI usually keep, keeps promises when you're a friend. Really? You think, you think he'd listen? I kind of doubt it. But I'm willing to try, Sig. Awesome, CrossX. Uh, pretty new to the whole winemaking business industry. Cool. Making your, I, I know a bunch of people that brew beer and stuff, but making wine sounds pretty unique. I think he dropped off his second city down there, which means we, we want to settle both to the west and the southwest at the same time. All right, so we have grown. We, are, we have two citizens here. So we are working this until two turns when we grow there. Uh, and then we'll have more free gold, which will be great. Definitely want to sit here and here, and then we'll be pretty happy. Oh, man. Pastures. Here's our scout. Okay, where do we want the scout to go? So the warrior probably is going to explore this a little bit and then make his way back up uh, through this southern fog of war. So I guess we're going up this way. And we'll go on top of that rainforest next turn. All right, no boost to our astrology yet. Um, if we get lucky, maybe we'll find a natural wonder. I think it's fine to uh, squeak out a settler. The fact is, we're we're friends with him already. Usually, you meet somebody and you're like, okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need some uh, some archers because they're gonna come and try to kill me. Well, the fact is, we got to uh, we we got to to befriend him right away. And so we're much less scared of that. And so I might be might have time, 11 turns on Astrology, 11 turns on this Settler, to squeak out a second city. And I think I'm going to take that risk. It might be stupid. This might kill us. First meet on Hattusa. We have three pop-ups, so we know it's first meet. We get a free Envoy, which will raise our science. And Hattusa is an, uh, a strategic bonus science sieve. Yeah, we want to... Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to settle so bad down this river. Totally, uh, you bring light in. He's, he's almost the best first first meet because you, you, don't ha you just don't have to prepare for that war. Do city-states start with walls now? We, we're running a mod. We're running a mod to, to let that happen because uh, otherwise they just die right away and that makes me sad. Uh, Verpanda, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. <sighs> yeah, um, it's going to be tough to do. Um, I guess let's just go here. I don't think we're going to be able to get all the way down here with our second city. It'd be a little too greedy. We'll, we'll need to settle for something in here. And then maybe get a third city for the horse city. You've never succeeded to build TOA without dying? Aw. Aw. TOA's so good. So single continent so far. We have amber and diamonds as our luxuries. That's super good. So we'll go here and then up. Hmm. Eight turns on the settler. We have uh, three turns until growth. So we'll actually be able to keep working both of those once we finish our settler because we'll lose a population. Hmm. 
Hmm. Gypsum too. Yeah, they're all productive luxuries. We, we would love this with Korea. I mean, I'm not sad about it. Don't get me wrong. Um, best side, best Civ five luxury was salt. Civ six, it's spices. Um, diamonds is up there. This is an amazing first tile to start with. Uh, productive wise, yeah, it's probably it's probably spices, and if you can get a a hill and some forest to go with it, it's pretty darn good. Okay, we found our first desert, and somebody else is over here. It's another scientific city state. Coco's good. There, I mean, there are some that are very good. No, no boost to astrology, which is very, very sad. So is Hill Deer. Yeah, Hill Deer, not a luxury though, right? That's a bonus. But it's a nice tile to start with, that's for sure. So first meet on Geneva because uh, Two Swole here has already met them. We can see his second city already. So let's just go that way. Let's go away from him because we're probably not going to find Goody Huts where he's already been. Uh, it's really hard to spot wonders with the appeal lens. I mean, if you look at all this, this is all from mountains and, and forests and stuff. I mean, you're right in that if there's an anomaly and like in the middle of a desert, like a super high appeal, then that could be a wonder. But... You're, you're, you're right. I'm, I'm a little slacking on that. Thank you for your delegation. That gives us a few extra gold. Four turns on our settler. We've added in a third tile here. Very good tiles to be working. All two twos, and we have an extra six gold per turn. Super yummy. Why did this slow down? At one time... Oh, because we got extra science. All right, and Tundra down here. This looks like the break point. So we're actually a little bit delayed on starting our... Um, At his best, man is the noblest ah, of all animals. That would have been decent. From law and the Pantanal <laughs> the most complex intertropical alluvial plain. Damn you, game! And perhaps the least known area of the world. Damn you, game. We just, we just got, we got zero, we just finished astrology. Only to find the... Uh. Sad. <laughs> Literally right next to me. I know. I know. And could make for some very interesting holy sites if we can settle uh, south of Hattusa here. I'll be very, very happy. Should have gone to check that tile from the start. I know. I know. Should should have should have Should have just been like... Mm, where's the natural wonder? It's probably to the southeast. Okay, so that southeast, that's where it is. Should have done it. All right. Um, now what? So I am going to def we're, we're definitely finishing this settler um just to try to secure a city down here. I'd love to secure both and then get the one south of Hattusa. Um, and then I'm your ridiculous buddy. Um, I think let's just get our archers. We're we're gonna find at at at, at the bare minimum we're gonna find um, barbarians. So we're gonna need to kill them. No, no, no. We don't auto save. We we don't auto save. Nissan. Oh man, incoming subwave. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Sub train to two less than three. Toot, toot. Well, that's that. Thank you kindly, warrior. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that sub. I think there are more coming here. <laughs> hey, D Shuffleman. New Civ game indeed, friend. Toten re. Oh, yeah, yeah. Toten already did it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they they we had a small sub train this morning. Hey, Moodster as well. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I saw that offline one. Thank you, Moodster. Do stuff to your butt. No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Sub train hype. Eight months. 
Yo, eight months is crazy. Thank you so much for the ongoing support that we almost have a sub baby. Oh, we're going to miss out on a spoopy name. We're, we're going to have to, we're going to have to, we're going to have to have a, a Thanksgiving themed name for our sub baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for the subs. Um... So realistically, what do we want to be doing here? I'm looking at this like a pretty good holy site. It's plus two. These are going to have the best holy sites, and that, those will be good. Jasmir, thank you for the follow as well. Sig, oh my goodness. Yes, people are, we are sub-training. It is happening. No. It's fine, I'll do it. I'm in. Finally got that silver batch. Yeah, you did. Thank you, Sig. Thank you for the six months in a row, and enjoy that silver badge, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. I don't know which way I want to go here. Um, I guess if we're going to go... I really... W we're going to want to get to Early Empire and expand, especially with the delay to religion. I was thinking about units um, and builders with craftsmanship because these are very easy tiles to improve. Um, this is simply a mine, and then down here will be pastures. Um, so those are super, super good. Sub-training sexy. <laughs> that's, for, that's, for, that's for the game mechanics after hours streams come on in to game mechanic nights and figure out how to dominate in a different kind of way you get paid. <laughs> hufflepuffagus oh my god what a good name do you get paid more than <laughs> such a good name to, but... no it's fine i'll do it i'm in hey. <laughs> thank you for the brand new twitch prime as well welcome on into the shop thank you friend appreciate it Please. oh my you god get paid. do they do stuff this to is you crazy boy? Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? Momala. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Yeah. Or more moolah. Sub train hype. Looking sexy, GM. More moolah with the Twitch Prime of nine months in a row. And that is a sub baby. We need a spoopy sub baby name. It is It is October here on stream. Uh, and uh, more mo moolah. Um, um, oh my nice. God. There's too many. I can't even respond. Jay Wonder. That's not true. There are never too many subs. To you, you guys no, are amazing. Thank I'll you. Do it. I'm in. Yeah. Holy cow. Jay Wonder with a brand new tier tier one sub as well. Thank you and welcome into the shop. Everybody, thank you so much. Thanks for the follows and to all you new people, welcome in welcome in as uh, apprentice shop members. Uh, and thank you. Thank you for formally uh, uh, completing your training, all of you subs. Uh, welcome, welcome into the shop, friends. Thank you. It's, uh, it's overwhelming. That is an overwhelming amount of support and it, and it means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Uh, Mo Momula, Momula, uh, you, you, uh, this, your spoopy name is um, Donald Trump. <laughs> that was cringeworthy. That was cringeworthy even by my standards. No, uh, Momula, how about um, <laughs> how about uh, 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 Vlad von uh, uh, Spoopy Face? <laughs> it's a terrible name. We're just gonna have to live with it. We, 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 we've set this kid up for failure. It's great. I can pay my rent now. I know, right? Thank you, guys. <laughs> so cringy. <laughs> so sorry. I take it all back. I take it all back. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um, all right, so three turns on the settler. Like I said, we're going to finish this. We get our first basic government here in a chiefdom. <laughs> sorry, Arkbound. I'm so sorry. Um, all right, let's go after God King for our Pantheon. We don't have any uh, luxuries that are giving us faith, so we need a Pantheon. Um, and we're probably going to find Barbarians, but maybe we can run Survey briefly. How about a zero adjacency commercial hub? That is pretty scary. That is way scarier. <laughs> it's also a terrible kid name. <laughs> but I love it. I kind of love it, Ordos. Thanks, man. All right, that's what we're going to run for our government for at least uh, a moment. And I'm, I still have high hopes that we can find a second continent. This is a very large uh, single continent to be on already. And maybe with our scout heading, you know, somewhere here, we probably want to explore laterally in order to find it. But we'll deal with that later. Um, yeah, let's go after archers. Best spooky name. No water settle. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. That is a super crazy holy site. And in fact, that this is where our first holy site's going to go. So we've got a couple holy sites over here. This is really good now. 
So assuming we can get a, a settle over here that isn't too deserty and, 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 and crummy, we'll get plus two for being adjacent to this and then the third one for being adjacent to this. Um, so that's a plus three holy site. This one, on the other hand, is plus two, four, six at least. So that's very, very good, but it's out of range of our cap, so it'll have to be for a different city. Uh, in the northeast of the scout, there's a city. Is there? Oh, there is one over here. Good call. Yeah, let's go. Let's go meet them. Uh, yeah, you're right. And then another plus, and then another uh, plus one to this one because it'll be by two different districts. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's go meet them. It's another city state. Or it's Egypt. And then we feel sad because she might come and kill us with war carts. Hmm. And she's on the same continent as us? Ugh. Irritating. Maybe we can clear this next turn. That would be awesome. Let's go this way and around. All right. We're going to have to be very, very brave with this settler. Um, do we want to settle over here for the really good holy site? Or do we want to try to claim some land to the south? Or reach and really go all the way over here? This this is pretty good because I feel like Gilgamesh is going to settle here real quick versus we have a little bit of time to get down here. Maybe not be true. But... ha, 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 ha. My barbarian camp. Man. Um, yeah, yeah, Cleo's Cleo is not nice. She will come and kill you. This is pretty good. I mean, it has a, at least one two two tile and it secure it, it doesn't secure great, great districts, but it does do a good job at securing land. Um because if we settle here, there's really no spot in between Geneva and this city that he can settle. Versus getting down here, we, we get a decent holy site, plus luxuries and perhaps horses. Two hour meeting over 90 minutes. What's up, Mech? How you doing, buddy? Uh, and that's coast. That's coast there with the light green tile. Also, there's somebody over here. Oh, boy. Um... I think we're going down here first. All right, let's get that holy site. We have got plenty of money to buy this tile. Starts off as plus three. It does override a hill, but that's not a huge concern. We've got plenty of production in our cap of Atlanta here. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. Candy right next to the wonder. That is pretty dandy. Although they've got a nice city spot and I'd like to kill them. But I won't do that. Definitely putting a city down over here somewhere. Um, cool. Thanks for the barb camp. Yep. First meet for a little extra faith now, which is nice. So where's this city going then? So this is a plus two holy site. This is also a plus two holy site. This would be a permanent plus two holy site with a campus perhaps there. If I go down here, we leave some dead tiles in the middle. You guys like this one the best? I don't love that one. Where's your commercial hub go? I guess if you settle this and you did commercial hub, campus, and holy site, you wind up boosting the campus just a little bit. Horses in amber sounds like a western. <laughs> Horses in amber sounds like a Jurassic Park themed dino western. Uh, where where uh, 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 the main character, Clint... 
um, has to has to defeat the Raptors with only a Smith and Wesson pistol. You guys can have that one. Write a screenplay. Send it to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about settling a hill. Whenever the game suggests a given tile, you always assume it's a bad choice. <laughs> Dogs look up to Fanfic and coming. Cats look down on us. Oh dear, we have barbarians. Um, oh, we need to deal with this. <laughs> Stick to Civ. Screenwriting's not for me. Come on, that was a decent pitch. <laughs> Certainly comical, right? A little. Where? All right, I'm gonna be a little greedy. We're going to go around the mountains. So if we settle here, we get a 2-2 base. The thing is, I think I'm, I'm going to have to pack in some cities. We could reach. We could go for the long settle. We could really go for the long settle and squeeze two cities and settle the horses and like this tile. Live action movie on Twitch. Who wants to play the Raptors? <laughs> There was a there was a, a gal that I went to high school with that would often like walk around doing raptor impressions and I never knew what to make of it. Settle the amber, holy site between Settle the Amber? Oh, that's interesting. Settle the Amber. If you settle the Amber, you still do this city too. Actually, no matter what, I think we're doing this city, too. It's a really, it's a really, really hard call. Yeah, the Amber's interesting just because it's so freaking defensible. Not that he's going to come and fight us, but we might run into something. Let's 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 hedge for one more turn here. All right, six turns on our holy site. We're back down to two pop because we did produce a settler, but two turns on growth. So she already settled, or no, she already had had that one. Oh god! All right, so we're not going to be able to find a second continent that way, which is kind of rough. Um, looks like we're at best going to have about eight cities with the amount of amenities that are going, going to be available here. All right, so thinking out loud here, we get a city there. Overriding too many hills. I'm I'm trying to think of a government district that would work. Yeah, I mean settling settling luxuries and trading away resources is a great great strategy, um, but I don't know if it applies here. Kind of wish we were going up here. It, it would just make my life easier. Yeah, it does kind of free up a district tile, but then we're so we're we're settling this, this. Horses are all in the way for districts. I was thinking about settling one of the horse tiles, actually. Um, so this, this, and like something over here. Who already has Earth, Earth Goddess? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Does she? Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Good call. She sure does. I didn't really expect to get it. Nor is it even that crazy good on this. Although we do have the wonder and stuff. We are putting tiles there. Um, the fact is having uh, uh, diamonds, uh, um, amber, and gypsum are all negative appeal things. So Earth Goddess not even that good. I'm still much more interested in Goddess of the Harvest.
I don't want to put. I don't want to do this on the other side of the river because this is a really good holy site. It's plus two with lumber mills there, and then a commercial hub like that. How do you get more trade routes? You uh, you 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 build commercial hubs. Commercial hubs are your ticket to more money. Can't settle in place though. It's too close. Good thought though. What else could we do instead? I don't I don't love this. It's okay. What I was looking at maybe is something like this. Settle this for extra growth. We don't have great tiles, but we could buy them this to start with, and that would expand their borders just like the monument would. Um, and then you get a uh, plus two holy site, and then you just toss down a commercial hub, and that's super, super easy to do. Um, with maybe like a campus here. Like that's a self-sustaining. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Markets, markets specifically. Get commercial hubs and then build the market and then you can have more traders. Yeah, sorry. I was not specific about that. Um... Because then this is plus three. And remember that plus three holy sites are a big deal. So this is one for this adjacency, two for this, and this is plus three. Um, and the reason we really want to get plus three holy sites is that uh, so that all of our cities can benefit from... Where is it? I thought it was here. It's not. It's here. Nope. Where's simultaneum? Oh, I, went, I didn't go far enough. For simultaneum, we want, we want adjacency bonuses of three and pop ten for our cities. So that it, it kicks onto this. Now, plus two is acceptable because you can we're going to run both this and this. So we're going to double our... Sorry, and this. So we're going to double our adjacency bonus and you can take two times two is four and that satisfies the plus three requirement. Um, but on its own, the plus three is a big deal. All right, this would, this would, this would, uh, all right, maybe, maybe, what about this? What about this? Bear with me. Bear with me. This is the lazy, lazy way to do it. Because eh, then you don't get the other side of the commercial hub. Thinking like government plaza in between these cities. What if we just put the government here? I don't like doing this because we have access to decent holy sites otherwise. So it winds up giving a one, two, three, four holy site here. This is simply one, two. We'd have to put something there. Do we just not worry about our government? We do deal with it later and just go down to the horse settle. The reason I like the horse settle too is because um, while this will provide uh, extra... Um, culture and that's lovely uh, and free culture is even better right if we were settling on top of it we get the free culture um, this is a 2-1-1 base because it's a uh, a hill um, and then this would give us extra growth um, extra growth buying this tile um, can help combat the loyalty issues that you're already seeing here so I think I'm going to go down to the horse settle
Yeah, so you would ideally have your government um, surrounded by districts, but sometimes you have to, you know, give up one of them, and that's okay. Plus, this holy site can go down right away, which is kind of a big deal. Again, we're overriding some hills for this, and I'm not a huge fan of doing that, but on New World Age, you get the luxury of, of, of not worrying too much. All right, that's the plan. So we have another lake over there, perhaps. Um, Georgia, the country. Well, how do you do, house? Welcome. Uh, if a plus three later becomes a plus five district through other districts, do you still get the era score or not? No, you don't, drums. You have to build it with that era score or with that uh, adjacency for the era score to be eligible. All right, I'm going this way then, since she's going to be annoying. And in our way. Whoa. One, two. So we can settle this. So that they get a really good one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to prepare for the Egyptian war. Um, she's she's far enough away where I, I I'm not as scared as I normally am. And we can buy them this, which is kind of similar to buying them a monument minus the loyalty. Um, but the fact is, starting with a two two one tile will will push out our border expansion from about thirty three turns. Uh, until about six or eight. And we can get going on the holy site right away or the monument as well. Um, and the monument will continue to just push out our borders. The other thing we can do is buy a builder. Or not buy a builder. Well, maybe we do buy a builder. Hmm. Do we buy a builder? Do we buy a builder? Buy a builder, build the holy site? I kind of like that. Either way, we want to lock this in. Campus here? Um, maybe. Again, we're overriding a lot of production to do this. And with this city, I'm not as I'm not as inclined to do that. So this city down here is looking at several productive tiles, um, although they're a little bit farther out. Um, this city, on the other hand, has a a lot of dead tiles in these mountains. And so overriding their production may not be as uh forgiving as down here. Like I can, I can trade in production for districts here uh, versus here. Like the difference between one faith uh, and and one science, I might I might rather have the production tile. Save it to buy the shrine. That's a good call. I'd love to take Hatusa. So you have the three I'm watching big mouth. You're getting too old for that. Uh, that show's hilarious. I know a lot of people didn't love it, but so there's our era score. Uh, we, we do get some uh, fancy era score for our plus three uh, holy site, which is lovely. Complete a boost on that as well. Are you interested in these? Yeah, I can have other access. I have other access to horses, so it's not like I'm trading away my only copy. Yes, it's my only copy right now, but buying a builder and just a couple pastures and we're good to go. Love the show. Don't love feeling like a train hit me in the morning. Why not? That's weird. It's a weird thing not to love. Love is love, house. So we are still looking at settling one of these for sure. Okay. Um, nobody getting a profit. Now, if this guy pillages my holy site, I'm going to be pretty 
pretty mad. I'd be pretty darn mad. All right, with 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 Cleo up there, I think we do need to make sure we have a couple archers, and I do want to upgrade them with gold. We have gold. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get mining. Mining will give us production and luxuries there. So everyone's opinion on Civ Six. I'm you. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm used to playing Civ Five. I'm not sure if to buy Civ Civ Six. Civ Six is awesome. Uh, you would have a blast with it. But a lot of people still are on Civ Five, um, as 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 the best one. And I I disagree with that vehemently. Um, but I think it's a really fun game. Waking Saucer. Give it a shot. Try the demo. Or hang out with us. We play it all the time. Um. So tiles expanding down here in only six turns. Thank you, thank you, uh, culture tile. Um, getting the second, getting the second holy site right away because uh, uh, profit points are a big deal. We are the first to them. That does not mean we will have the most for very long here. And I think I am going to buy the builder. So buying this builder will get us a boost, and we add in production. Get Buying this builder and adding in production on these tiles is kind of a big deal. It will eat up one of our free inquiry boosts, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's okay. Um, all right, so we want a faith pantheon. We're going to go for it. We're going to ultimately go for a religious victory. Um, these don't seem to make a lot of sense. Stone circles for faith from quarries is cute, but I just don't... Like, that's one, two, three, four... Like, the amount of faith that we're going to get from harvest is just nutty um we have so many so much jungle to chop we have so many woods that we can chop we've got a lot of stone that we can chop like chopping this even once will kind of make up for the fact that we could just put a permanent plus two on it so i i this is the one i was kind of hoping to get anyways i'm pretty happy about it that'll give us a bunch of extra faith Ah, uh, is she fighting Hattusa? Maybe I can snipe him. Are you fighting anybody? Hmm. Let's see what she's up to over there. So in three turns, we can improve. Um, she shouldn't be able to snipe that. Well, actually, they can. Yeah, that's not ours. They're going to grab it. Oh, they didn't grab it. All right, sweet. Yep, we're playing deity. Always do. Beaker. Yep, she's denouncing us because she hates us because she's a bad person. Bronze working is surprisingly okay. So she's getting holy sites. That looks like it's done. So she's probably earning, well, not quite. But somebody else has now started. We beat them by basically one turn to get there. Um, and keep in mind that the AI starts with this tech. <laughs> Jerks. One turn till growth here. That's lovely. 14 gold per turn is also good. Uh, two turns on mining here. So yeah, we can go there. I'd love to suzerain candy. Recruit a great merchant is a terrible, terrible first quest. It makes me all kinds of sad. One more turn, we'll add in production. Settleable stuff up there too. Whoa, Matterhorn. Matterhorn all the way up there. Looks like she's coming for me already. I might not be greedy with this city, and we might just toss their campus here. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. If we can get Candy Suzerain and then discover the Matterhorn later, I'd be pretty happy about it. Free free Relic would be awesome. Um, Pottery and writing or all the way to bronze working to be able to chop jungle. Cool. So two, three, three tiles. Super nice. All 
We need to get this guy back. She is all kinds of likely to do it. House had a question worth answering for the YouTubes. I am so sorry, buddy. Um, unless you get the wonder that yields merchant and general points. True point. True point, Flapjack. Uh, is it tr is it worth trying to get a religion regardless of which victory type you're going for? No. Uh, no, it is not. Um, in general, uh, obviously, if you're going for a religious victory, you should probably found a religion. Um, it was like a... It's like a, it was like a, it was kind of like a Jeff Foxworthy style. Like, I was like, well, if you're, if you're trying to win a religious game and, and you didn't found a religion, you might be a redneck. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, if you're going for a religious game, obviously you have to found a religion. Otherwise you lose, um, and you'll have to pivot. Um, the other scenario where I like founding religion is Arabia because it's free. Um, or culture. Sometimes with culture victories, it can be quite nice. And it really depends on who you're playing. Um, Russia being a good candidate for it. Um, obviously, like I just said, Arabia, because they get a free religion. Um, but on deity, it's 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 really, really tough. Like it, we, are, we are setting ourselves so far behind here um, by not doing it. Is that how you spell fit Savannah for Savannah, Georgia? I think so. You're new to Civ 6. Should you chop jungle or leave it? In the beginning, it's a super nice tile to get. Um, so 2-2 two, two like this is super nice, and it's also nice to settle there. And eventually, you should chop it because you can't improve it. Uh, you've noticed that in some games, I use holy sites instead of campuses. That doesn't mean I've founded a religion. Um, it, getting Holy sites are good. F faith is good. Um, specifically, I'm doing that in culture victories, I believe, House. Um, so getting getting holy sites and culture victories gives you a source of faith to get your national parks later and holy sites themselves increase appeal to their surrounding tiles. So they will make your national parks even better um, and give you more tourism then. So did you conquer a settler earlier or uh, no? Yeah, we did not. Flapjack. We just settled this on our own. We built it. Yeah, I'm recording. Although we're about to stop because we are at our limit. We've reached our threshold of time. Time flies when you're having fun uh, or playing Georgia. It doesn't work. Don't worry about it. Do yourself a favor and kindly stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and drop me a follow. Help support the stream. I don't worry about it. I'm terrible at accents. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.